we are pregnant. During the next seven months, we are going to be building this van, we are going to be filming the boat being built, and supposedly our boat is going to be delivered to us from by Meta. The hole is going to be ready in September 2024. And As the baby. Today starts the new season of this channel. <laughs> finally! Yeah, today it's time to finally start working for real on the van. And the first step is gonna be the bottom. We're gonna do the floor today. Well, if you are new to our channel, you might not know that while Meta Boat Yar builds the hull of our new boat, we will be converting a cargo van into our home on wheels to live on it while we finish the building of our boat ourselves. We're ready. <laughs> so yesterday I was trying to take some measurements to make sure I get the right plywood on the right place. That means the plywood on the right wood support that we created months ago. And that's tricky. When you do something three months ago and you try to remember now, you literally don't remember. And there is this one that's a transversal one just here. That's the only place we have. And I'm like, of course, this is for the plywood to join. Like when you have two plywood separate and that's where they join together on the top of a wood support. But it doesn't make sense because that's not a full length plywood, that the other side is not a full length plywood, so it doesn't make any sense. And then I remember, this is actually the support for the bed. That's where the bed starts. That means we need to do something like that on the back. Now we need to do some cuts. As you can tell, right where Robert is sitting, there is a cut that we need to do because of the wheel of the car. And now, so we have the cut for the shower, and this is the first plywood. So there is a tiny little gap there, but it's good for expansion. And also we are gonna have sick effects around, so it's gonna be all good. And also that's gonna be with the wall on top, so it, there is no way anyone is gonna see the little gap. <laughs> and I think that's good. Nobody's gonna know about it. Nobody's not gonna know. It's, 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 I mean, it's not gonna be visible on the project here, that's in here, it doesn't, because the van is not straight also, mm -hmm. just like a boat, nothing is straight. So the next step now is that, if you can see, this plywood is not flush with the wood trim. I want this plywood to be flush to make it easier to do the finishing later but in order to do that I need to cut a little slot on this part here it's touching the cork but here it's not that means this is a little bit sticking out so if I cut a little slot here that means the plywood is gonna go that way it's gonna close a little bit more this gap that is also not a problem because there's like an expansion of the plywood is gonna be good but also this is gonna go that way that's the hope Looks perfect to me. And we have a cut from here to here that is the shower cabin. So, shower cabin. for the best. It sounds perfect. So now we have two options. We can either trim this plywood so we can have the connection between this plywood and the next plywood on the top of the wood support or we can just do the connection here and I add another support on the bottom here. That's a possibility. Part of me wants to do as it is to be honest because that means it's 100% straight, it's square. This is gonna be inside the cabin. No one is ever gonna see that. We're gonna 
do some uh, uh, sticker flex join. We're gonna paint. We're gonna treat, and I, I, I think it's fine. So it's already there. Just add some wood on the bottom, I guess. This is really strong. This is 15 millimeters plywood, so I yeah. think it's thick enough. Let's hope now, when I finish cutting, these won't fall because this is gonna hold the two plywoods together. It worked! <laughs> That's pretty good. So this one could have been done in one piece. The reason why I didn't do that is because I need to do a lot of little cuts and it's gonna be much easier to trim the cut now with half piece than with a long piece that doesn't fit here. So it's gonna make my life a lot easier. And this joint is gonna be hidden under the bed so no one's gonna see it's fine it's all good so now all I need to do is to mark all these cuts and slide to place and then I'll do the next one now it's time for the truth I have all the marks for all these little things you never know if it's gonna work until you cut and you try in place create some supports we just need to create some here here and here Day two of the floor building. <laughs> the idea is to apply Sikaflex on the wood supports below the floor. So let's get started. I want to glue a few pieces of wood to support the center in between the supports. As we're gonna have a joint of two sheets of plywood, I think the more support we have the best. And also we are gonna use this cork. So this is a thick panel of cork that we got as a gift. This was left over from our friend's van from Malaga. I don't know if you remember when we went to Malaga with our friends on their van they use this cork and they have some leftovers so we are gonna use that in between the plywood and the floor and in this way it's gonna create an insulation layer. This is cork there's no condensation and that's just to fill the void and have something that insulates and this cork is really good for insulation so I think that's gonna be awesome and also for the soundproofing I think it helps to stop the sound that's really good sound deadening. So now the next step to do this. Today we're gonna try a new Sikaflex product that we never used before. Yay! <laughs> I don't know if you noticed but this bottle is black outside and not blue and all the blue bottles are for marine purpose. The black one are actually for RV, for aftermarket automotive. The 522 is a general purpose sealant and bounding compound that we can use for many things on the RV and I think it's gonna be perfect for the floor because it's really it's flexible, it's not like a really uh, how do I say like uh, rigid. rigid bound is a flexible bound and for the floor it's perfect because the car moves a lot and everything inside the car when you drive is gonna move a lot and this is gonna guarantee that this the seal is not gonna crack. Chris from Sail Hub, our friend, said that I need to cut this way first, really thick one, and now I need to do a V shape like this. We can apply vertically and the bead is gonna be exactly the size of the crack that I, the, the V shape that I did there. So I can apply it like this and it's gonna leave just like a perfect bead, hopefully. It's been way too long, Seeker. Heartache Until I saw you 
decide to cut the insulation on the table saw but now we have a problem because we glue all this wood already and it's drying and this can be too high because if it was wet the floor would put in place so to make sure while I do this job this won't get hard too high I'm gonna do something to pressure it down to make sure it's on the right position Now that the floor is all ready with the core, we can take these ones out and we can glue the first plywood panel. You know what? You still don't have any sticker on your hands. I'm not gonna have, I'm a professional. I don't, I don't get my hands dirty anymore. We even have like wipes to clean the hands, but now you don't need it. <laughs> Now, let's see if I can do that. Try to take the excess. I'm impressed that I got this far and I didn't get dirt yet. It's already dry. Can I see your face? It's full of cork. Yeah, I'm just trying to squeeze a little bit and then I'm gonna put the stands just to make sure we have all the same level. Feels solid. This is really, really good. Putting everything we have inside? Yeah, uh, anything that's heavy, it's right there. We decided that Sika is good enough, so we are not using any screws, just Sika. That's why all this weight to put the Sika down. Can I be honest? Yeah. I'm in love with the subfloor. I'm in love with someone else, actually. Oh. Yeah, it's true. I'm really in love with someone else. And that's not Roberta. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love you too. But there's also someone else that I really love. Yeah, l l one step at a time. A lot of you ask us to be in real time. You always say that we are too far behind on the videos. And the truth is, for the first time, in five years, we are one week behind real time. We are in real time. Yeah, that's real time because we need to edit the videos. So we have one week to edit the videos. And we have a reason for that. Yeah, a really big one actually. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you recognize it. I'm ready. What do you think? So many of you were correct. We are pregnant. <laughs> That's so awesome. Yeah, we've been trying to get pregnant for 14, 14 years. years. Yeah, one of the reasons, you know that, that we accept to sell the boat, that we accept the offer on selling our, on selling our old boat, is because we really, really wanted to have a family, a, a kid to join our family, because we are already a family, but we wanted to have a kid to join our family. And Roberto is 40 years old, I'm 40 years old. It's either now or never, so we either go to the Pacific or we take the time to have a kid. Otherwise, we would not have a kid and that was really important for us. The reason why we are in real time right now is because for the past months, yeah. 
Yeah. It's been a lot of things involved the project of having a kid. Yes. Since we arrived in Europe, pretty much. Yes. So in August, we went to Barcelona for a few days to try for the first time to do the insemination here yeah, in IPF. Europe. Today we start a new journey of our lives. Kid, if one day you're born, it was a lot of work, but it was worth it, for sure. You heard? Time be. First one of many. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Looks like a Japanese hostel. <laughs> That's the hospital, by the way. <laughs> so we come in through this door, and our banner goes in out through this door, do the procedure, and come back. I'm just sitting and waiting here. Moving on. It didn't work, so we did again in November. <laughs> the IVF actually did work for one week. Yeah. So for one week we had a positive and literally I told everyone that I knew and the week after I need to say didn't happen. And then when we did again in December and we spent Christmas and New Year's in Barcelona. Sitting in a hotel <laughs> waiting for the day of the transfer. So that's amazing just to have the possibility of yes. doing that. But that's something that takes us from building the van, takes yes. us from working on the boat. So all we can do is work by distance because the, the clinic that we are working to on this is in Barcelona so we need to travel and sometimes you you think you're gonna stay there for like two days and then you end up staying for two weeks because yes. we, it's just better's body you need to wait for the right time <laughs> the last things. time was three weeks but that's really exciting because yeah. this time it actually is true the baby's 13 weeks old already yeah. and the last ultrasound you can see a proper yeah. baby it's just and we I don't are know. even receiving gifts already yeah that's from one of our patrons actually he sent this week, that's really awesome. I always wanted to have a kid on a little thing. So I'm having a lot of fun, like choosing things. I, I made a wish list on Amazon. It's in French. As you guys know, we are in French. So sorry for that. I couldn't translate it. But if you want, the, the list is on this, the description of this. I'm pretty excited about it. So Yeah, Hobert spends half of the week on the, <laughs> the wish list just trying to imagine what she wants for our baby and that's really exciting and at the same time really crazy and insane yes. because as you know already the plates of our boat arrived we didn't show any progress on the boat on this episode because they're taking this first week to organize the plates they have all the plates but they need to organize things so when they start they properly start welding the hole hopefully and next hopefully week. next week I'm gonna do the first weld of the whole of the boat. That's what I'm hoping. We are not sure yet because we need to travel on tomorrow. Yeah, life life is busy. So we need to we need to go to West France to visit seldom masts. And the reason for that is because we need to finish the sail plan of the boat. And in order to have the hole ready, we need the sail plan because we need to know where the, the mast is gonna be, where the stays are gonna connect to the hole, and that's not done yet. So it's a really, really important trip that maybe you can expect at video on seldom next week I'm not sure yet we'll see that's real time that's real life and the insane thing is that during the next seven months we're gonna be building this van we're gonna be filming the boat being built and supposedly our boat is gonna be delivered to us from by Meta the hole is gonna be ready in September 2024 and, As the, the, baby. and the baby is expected <laughs> September 24 so that means it's just <laughs> mind-blowing and there is even 
one more big news that we're not ready to talk about yet because we need a contract to guarantee that's gonna happen. In September, you're moving country. Probably, we are actually, yeah. we are, it's 99% sure yes. we won't finish building the boat in France. That doesn't mean we're, gonna not, we're not gonna finish the boat. It's an amazing it's opportunity in, in, in an amazing place, amazing country, really cool people. It's gonna be awesome. It's just an opportunity that we could not say no, but we need a contract before we tell you because it's way too good to be true. And I only believe when it, uh, it's when just, it happens. yeah. So of course our patrons know everything already. <laughs> we never say that, but the reason we are able to do what we do a huge part of that is because of Patreon. Yeah. And I'm not saying that to do an advertisement because as you can tell, we never do that. No. But the Patreon community is becoming something really cool on the last months because we have someone and a group of people that really enjoy what we are doing and we can share all the information. Patrons know since the first IVF, yeah. they know it didn't work. They, they knew when we fly to Barcelona, they knew when we drive to Barcelona again, they, they knew the entire process and it's really cool to have a group of people that we can, we can just, support you. Yeah, just talk and <laughs> we really appreciate Thank you so much. And that's it. We are really excited. Now the dream is real once the All plates... The dreams. Yeah, I mean like when you when you're doing a design it can take a long time. A design process takes a long time and for and for the boat yard itself they're not losing money if they're if the design takes long it's just a paper it's just a computer doesn't matter as soon as you go to the production line the boat yard has space for three or four boats that's it no more space and that means as soon as the plates of the boat are taking the space of one boat they do need to be fast otherwise they lose money they need to the schedule is, is running as soon as the plates arrive the time the clock's ticking and the time is running and that's even more exciting because there's another big news that I'm not 100% sure yet <laughs> but there is I would say at this point I'm 95% sure it's gonna happen there is already a buyer that's one of you guys actually <laughs> for hole number two of Meta 43 DS odd <laughs> so odd is gonna become a model a version of the Meta 43 a boat line. a line of boats and probably we're gonna already be two boats that's yeah. so so cool yeah. it's 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 that's that's the dream to be able to develop an amazing boat that we really really believe is a great boat yeah. and have more people having the same boat so we can create a community yeah. that's awesome I, I can't wait an odd community an odd community <laughs> yeah finally we're gonna have a real odd community with odd boats <laughs> that's actually an odd boat the name of the boat's not gonna be odd but the model of the boat is gonna be odd the other reason we Sorry for that. For, sorry for <laughs> keeping the video going. The other reason we still didn't, didn't start the event till now is that because that we were waiting for things to arrive. We ordered the hatch for the top part. Two months ago. No, December. And oh, was it December? arrived in March. So yeah. we were still waiting for things to arrive. Batteries yeah. are now in France. So yeah. it's getting excited. All the electrics, are, they came from the US, they're here already, but Cosmos didn't yeah. let them through yet. So we are right now waiting for the lithium batteries, the inverter chargers. So we are, we've but been working a lot on the background to make this arriving. happen. But things are moving forward, yes. that's good. We're just happy, we just want to share. <laughs> uh, we've, been, we've been holding this, like we want to tell everyone yes. for so long. You can tell that's true when you go to a doctor and the first thing he do when he see the scan is a big smile. Yeah. And you can tell that that's good news. Like you can feel the doctor is like, that's a beautiful baby. That's, that's yeah. We healthy. still don't know if it's a boy or girl. The kid was shy. <laughs> yeah, last ultrasound a week or a and a half ago, the key, we could supposedly see the gender but yeah. it just the, the kid was just like no no i'm not going to show you it's just to, to know that's it's there and that's healthy and that's yeah. fine and now you understand also why Robert is not working as much yeah, with me carrying any it's because we're like no you're not doing anything i'm because not on the cold weather i'm not carrying weight see you guys see you next, next week, week. <laughs> see you next week